Hello everyone, welcome to KDD Training Solutions. We are at session 8 of Time, Speed and Distance and concept for today's discussion is boats and streams. Similar to the topic problems on trains, we totally have 4 cases in boats and streams. First one, finding the speed of boat in still water. Second, finding the speed of stream. Third, finding the speed of boat in downstream. And finally, finding the speed of boat in upstream. I explain you each case one by one with example, so stay connected with me till the end. In the screen, you are looking at two points A and B. Distance between A and B is 15 km as shown in the picture. Now listen to the scenario carefully. Rahul travels from A to B and returns back to A every day in a boat. And one more information provided for us is flow of water is from A to B as shown in the picture. Or you can imagine there is a river flowing from A to B. Now keeping this scenario in mind, I explain you all the cases like a story. Just listen to it. We shall keep speed of the boat in still water as 10 km per hour. Speed of boat in still water is nothing but speed of the boat. Speed of the boat here is 10 km per hour. Now what is a still water? Still water means there will not be any movement in the water. For example, we can take the case of boating in a lake. Lake water don't have any speed, right? So here, speed of the boat is 10 km per hour. Now with this information, if I ask you to find the time taken by Rahul to reach B, you might say time equal to distance by speed. So here distance is 15 km per hour and speed of the uh, what boat is 10 km per hour. So 15 by 10 is 1.5 hours. So in 1.5 hours, Rahul will reach the destination B. But here boat is moving in a river. River water is having a movement. So here speed of the stream or current or water is 5 km per hour. As per our assumption, we are considering speed of the stream here is 5 km per hour. So boat needs to travel along the stream. So when boat travels along the stream or with the stream, we can call it as speed of the boat in downstream. So to find speed of the boat in downstream, we have to consider both the boat speed as well as stream speed. So boat speed here is 10 km per hour and stream speed here is 5 km per hour. So 10 plus 5 is nothing but 15 km per hour. Now the question is, time taken by boat to cross the distance A to B in downstream is how many hours? Now we know the distance is 15 km. So this 15 km will be covered by the boat with downstream, downstream 15 km per hour speed in 1 hour. So 15, 15 cancel. In 1 hour, the boat could cover the distance. Hope you understood case 1, right? Now moving to case 2. Now assume Rahul completed his work at point B and again he want to travel back to point A. Now flow of water will never change its direction. Water flow only from A to B. But boat move from B to A. Boat needs to travel against the stream. In downstream, boat travel along the stream. Here boat travel against the stream. We know boat speed is 10 km per hour. While traveling from B to A, due to opposite force of current, it will lose 5 km against the stream. So in upstream, speed of the boat is only 5 km per hour. Hope you understood the concept, right? If boat is moving along the stream, we have to sum up the speed. If boat is moving against the stream, we have to subtract the stream speed from boat speed. So here, speed of boat in upstream is boat minus speed of the stream. Speed of boat minus speed of the stream. So here speed of boat is 10 km per hour and speed of the stream is 5 km per hour. So 10 minus 5 is 5 km per hour. So here boat is traveling with the speed of 5 km per hour only. Now the question is time taken by the boat to cross the distance B to A in upstream is how many hours? We know the total distance is 15 km and speed of the boat in upstream is 5 km per hour only. So it will consume 3 hours to cover the distance. Hope you understood the concept, right? Now moving to our third and fourth case. Till now we haven't faced any challenges. But imagine the scenario you are provided with only these two data, speed of boat in downstream and speed of boat in upstream. From this you have to find speed of boat in still water. So speed of boat in still water is nothing but speed of the boat. But you don't need to worry. You have the first case and second case here. So our first case state speed of boat in downstream is nothing but speed of boat plus speed of stream and speed of boat in upstream is speed of boat minus speed of stream. So our first case and second case. From this you have to find speed of the boat. So you can easily find speed of boat with the downstream and upstream value. So which is nothing but half of downstream and upstream. See half of downstream and upstream is nothing but half of what is downstream? It's B plus S and upstream 
plus b minus s. So plus s and minus s cancel. So half of 2b is nothing but b. Now you got boat value. So if you want to find speed of boat in still water, you have to look the arithmetic mean of downstream and upstream. So half of d plus u. So here half of d plus u is nothing but half of d value 15 and u value 5. 15 plus 5 is 20. So half of 20 is nothing but 10 km per hour. See for your convenience, I took the same values that we solved in previous two cases. So in previous two cases, we found speed of the boat in downstream is 15 km per hour and speed of boat in upstream is 5 km per hour. And in question, I have given you speed of the boat in still water is 10 km per hour. Now we found speed of boat in, uh, boat in still water is 10 km per hour using the downstream and upstream value. Similarly, if you, are, if you want to find speed of the stream, it's so simple half of d minus u. See half of d minus u is nothing but d value b plus s minus b minus s you get minus b plus s. So minus b plus b cancel half of 2s is nothing but s. So here you got stream value right. So here half of d minus u d value is 15 15 minus 5 you get 10 half of 10 is 5 km per hour. So 5 km per hour is nothing but speed of the stream. Hope you understood the concept right. So totally you will get four cases. First one, you want to find speed of the boat and second speed of the stream. Next speed of boat in downstream and next speed of boat in upstream. So we totally have with four cases. If you understood these four cases properly, you can easily solve any type of boat and stream problems in less than 45 seconds. In upcoming session, I try to upload some problems based on boats and stream. Until that, stay connected with KDD training solutions. If you have any doubts, please don't hesitate to pass it on comment section below and click the nearby bell icon to get instant notification. Like the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.